Hey there, YouTube Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Symphonia Let's Play. This is episode number 34. In the last episode, we spent a lot of time in a certain forest trying to get to a certain village of elves. Um, we got to that village of elves, and we found out that in order to get the mana leaf herb, right? Mana leaf herb? Yeah. Um, we have to go to the Lathian Gorge, which is where we are now. So we are standing right outside the Lathian Gorge. Let's go ahead and get started here. We're standing right outside the Lathian Gorge and ready to spend the entire episode in a single dungeon. So let's go ahead and talk to the Watchman. Looks like you have the Elf Elder's Staff. You may pass. Alright, very well. We are now inside the Lathian Gorge and I think we get a cutscene. What's that flower? Whoa, what is that? It's big and pretty. It's big, but it ain't pretty. Hey, Lloyd, there's one over there too. And a treasure chest. But it looks different. You're right, it looks like it's blowing out air. And the color is different from this one. Rain? What is it? I've read about this. There's a plant which, when you provide it with food, begins blowing air. That's our rain. I'm falling, falling in love with you all over again, heart emoji. The flower over there is blowing air. So their food is present in this valley. Yes, that would make sense. Um, Professor, is it just me, or have you been ignoring my words of love lately? If so, then these flowers may be useful for something. Yes, I agree. For say, and I, you too. Sheesh, Zelos, will you just shut up? We're gonna leave you behind. Poor Zelos. I'd feel a lot more, ba more bad. A lot worse. F I'd feel worse for him. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd feel worse for him if he wasn't a giant douchebag. All right. I guess we're gonna fight some enemies. Be careful, everyone. So, oh yeah, we got rain in the party. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine for now. I think we're gonna want. Yeah, this this is fine. <laughs> this is definitely fine because I think rain can heal my. What did she acquire? Purify. Love it. Love it. It heals, and it takes away my poison. Yeah, so this is why we want to use Rain here. Although, like I said, we are going to want to box Rain at some point. <laughs> because once we start fighting a whole bunch of uh, angels, Rain is not going to be the ideal candidate here. Um, I don't think we ever need the fire here, so we have no problem just doing this. Oops, uh, I was expecting a scene. <laughs> okay then. Another treasure chest. Rare pellets, don't care. Alright. So we have this flower. And we have that enemy lurking back behind that tree, so let's just get that over with. This is another long and involved puzzle. Kind of like the Amir Forest. But just, like, it's, it's different. But it's just as long and complicated. I don't necessarily remember exactly what I have to do with it. So... We're just gonna guess <laughs> and hope it all turns out for the best. All right. Very well. All right, so we got you. I don't know exactly where we're. I think we want to go this way. So we have that flower there probably have a path up that way. Okay, yeah, alright, so we... Right now, we just want to go this way. And I hate the timing on this, too. Because it's very finicky. Yep, exactly. Exactly. This should be fine now. Yep, alright. We made it. Now, I believe, if we go... Yeah, if we go up this way, we should find the Karima fruit that it needs. In order to make it healthy again. This puzzle is just a matter of, you know, making certain flowers healthy and wilting other flowers so that their wind doesn't redirect me and all that kind of bullshit. Hey, Rain, you want to do something about the fact that I look like Beast Boy right now? Thank you, Rain. Love you bunches. Nailed it. Snake that wind right out from you, Genus. 
We got red lavender. That's pretty cool. Actually, I haven't paid much attention to what oh, we don't have. That's all we have. Okay, never mind then. Uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Definitely Lloyd. Strength plus three. All right, so here we go. Hey, it's Karima. I never expected to find it growing in a place like this. You're right, it's a good ingredient, so let's take some. Yeah, it might come in handy. Alright, well, we will take as many of them as we can. I think it, you get them in, like, bunches of four or something, so we're just going to max out on it. Yeah, we're good. And we are going to... We're supposed to give it food, right? How about the Karima that grows over there? I see. Okay, I'll try feeding it. Uh, yep. We can also give it a mango to kill it. Which we will not be doing at this point. Alright. So now we're gonna go this way. And what can we do here? We have an enemy, which I don't really care about. Oh good, okay, that's all we had to do. Damn it. <laughs> I, I knew I wasn't getting out of that. No chance. Alright. So this is going up on a Monday. How's your Monday? My Monday is probably not great because it's a Monday. Although the day I'm recording this wasn't a, ba a bad Monday. So I worked from home. And I worked from home because this past weekend... Well, I say this past weekend. At the time of recording it. It's the first weekend of October. Um... I was at a wedding in Los Angeles, which is across the entire country from where I am, which means I had a lot of airplane travel in a very short amount of time, and as a result, I was absolutely exhausted, <laughs> and I came back in Sunday night. So, uh, needless to say, I worked from home today, which means that I had a pretty easygoing day, I didn't have to deal with commute traffic and all that bullshit, so it was pretty good. But most Mondays are very Monday-esque. And I'm sure the Monday that this goes up is a very Monday-esque Monday. What am I talking about? <laughs> Lloyd's dying. Alright. It's fine. Nothing back here? Okay. We got treasure chest here. X-Gem level 3. I will take that. You have both, right? Okay. You can only get spirit up. You can only get spirit up. You got both. You can only get life up. You still need vitality. You have both. Okay, so it's really, it's actually, it's just Zelos now. So. Oh. good. Well, we're gonna lose that one. So, we're getting rid of Magical. And we're gonna put... Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, it's an extra level 2. Huh. Okay. Well, shit. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so don't care about any of that. We can go up here. Oh, Jesus. How are you a fish when you're not even in water? Because you're a big-ass turtle, that's why. I'm still dying a little bit. Rain, if you would do me the honor of healing me. Just a little. Yeah, you can't use water on a fish, bro. Pardon me. All right. So what do we have up here? Another Karima tree? I don't care about that, but we got some more stuff over here. All right, what is over this way? We have a, uh, oh, I think this is a, yeah, this is a Devil's Arms thing. Hey, the Nebulum's key is vibrating. Then this is, 
Okay, let's try opening it. We got the Diabolos. I thought so, it's a devil's arm. I still don't think we're doing that side quest, but it sure looks like I'm doing it, doesn't it? Um, what do we got over here? Nothing. I don't... Yes, I think I want to heal you, because I want you and you to work in combination to get me diagonal. Right? Is that... Yeah, because I want to go over to there, and that's the only way I can do that. Okay. So here we go. Boom. Nailed it. These do definitely get harder. Be careful, everyone. Are you okay? Alright. So I'm wondering if Genus is gonna learn any crazy ass moves again soon. He's on track, I think, to learn um there's no no higher than Ice Tornado. That one only has, is a two-stage, but he still needs to learn Ignition and Explosion. As well as... Huh. What does that take? Probably 50 nurses, I would bet. Revitalize. I don't know. Huh. Alright, well that's fine. Okay, so we're going up here, we can get- oh! Hey, there's a mango! A mango grows here! Don't these plants only eat Karima? I don't know, but we may need some later. These are the ones that kill the plants, so we'll just stock up on those too. We good? Nope. Now we good. Okay, cool. Um, I think we're just going up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we're fighting you. <laughs> we, must be we haven't been at this too long yet. I think we're actually making some pretty good progress through here. This is, I don't think this is as long as the Emir Forest. Okay. You're a shelter, aren't you? Sheldra, never mind, Sheldra. Alright. We'll avoid you for now. Um okay, so we got treasure chest here. We got a dead flower, and we got a big flower. Now I kinda wanna say. I want to go this way before I do any of this stuff because I feel like let me just try this let me just try this because I think there's like a treasure chest here over this way let's see if this works okay do I have to revive you I don't remember I think I no I probably don't Let's see what happens when we go this way. We are behind the waterfall. And if video games have taught me anything... Oh! There's always, always, always something behind the waterfall. Give it to Genus. What did Genus have? Cleric's hat? Alright, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Genus had the headband. Let's give that to Zelos. Armit Helm? Okay. Cool. Um, alright. So we can go back this way. So that was worth worth getting. Makes Genus a little less squishy. And we also get <clears throat> a rare shield. Which is good for Zelos also. Fantastic. And we have to take the, the plant, because this is, despite it looking like the path that continues onward, it is not. And we are down here. And what is down here? Where does this go? Oh! Yeah, okay. 
Oh, lovely. That means I have to deal with you again. I really... God damn it. I guess I have to deal with you again. Okay, okay. How about don't do that? Some help here would be nice. Like, that would be- that's great. Let's do that. Thank you. Clark gained a level. Alright. So now we can do this without being bothered. Damn it. Uh. That was bullshit. I'm running. That was total bullshit. I'm sorry. Calling it like I see it. Total horseshit. Alright. No! Stop! Oh my god. I I need a max repel. I need a max repel. This is ridiculous. I am not dealing with you all. Alright. Okay. Now we have to figure this out. So you will take me over there. You... I don't know what you do. Oh my god, please! I get the feeling that you are necessary. You go up. You do go up, okay. That was oh my god. I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> I do not have the patience for this. Alright. What's your deal? Okay. I feel like I do need to revive you. Do I need to revive you? Let's get this over with. Let's get out of here. Get up. Ready? Do not take my silence as bad commentary. <laughs> oh my god. I fine. 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 Okay. I will kill you. And then you will stop fucking bothering me. Jesus Christ. Guys, I know indie game making is a big thing now, and there are probably plenty of you out there who are actually making your own games. Never put enemies like this in puzzle rooms. Like, don't, don't force the player to have to deal with enemies while they're trying to solve puzzles. It's infuriating. Oh my god. Alright, fine. You stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed to do all of that. So let's go over here now. Oh, really? That's how we're gonna play this? That gets me over there. I don't wanna. He's gonna get me. <sighs> trying to think if that big flower does anything for me. I don't think it does. But I can't remember, so I'm gonna have to go with it. I'm taking a lot of damage. Rain doesn't seem to care. <laughs> She's very... Very clearly not interested in healing very much right now. Alright. So I guess we'll go this way, because I don't remember what this is going to do. Bullshit. <laughs> Total bullshit. Oh, fuck. Where am I? Let's 
Did I go to the right place? Okay, well, hold on. Let's see. Okay, that will take me over there. But I won't be... I don't think that will work. So here, this will point me... I don't care about you. This will point me that way, which is the direction I want to go. Yeah, that's the direction I want to go. So what I need to do... Let's see. Let's see if I have this figured out. I need to go here. And I need to kill... You... Right? Huh? Oh! Do I need to kill you? Yeah, that makes more sense. Interesting that it won't let me kill this one. Not quite sure why. I don't know what you do. But I know I need you. I also know that I need to kill you. Because you'll get in the way of going diagonal. So let's try doing this. See what this will get me. I'm a little concerned because I don't think I finished everything I needed to do on that other in that other direction. I'm fairly certain I need you. Yeah, because this will get me into the next area, so I definitely want to go back. Uh oh. I... All right. Well, I don't know what I missed. Maybe it was just a treasure chest, maybe it was just a fruit tree or something, I don't know. But here we go, we're going up. We are progressing onward. This part I think is a little bit easier. Alright, so we have to go this way, I believe. Past the waterfall to here. Now we want to go this way. Oh, that was bad timing. Let's try that one again. Let's go this way. Okay. Well, that's clearly what we missed, isn't it? That is indeed what we missed. As well as a treasure chest. Containing a toroid, which is definitely for Colette. And this treasure chest. Flare Greaves. Don't care. If you haven't gathered by now, I'm not a big fan of using Regal. Alright, so now... Unfortunately... Oh god, really? Are you really gonna... God damn it. Uh oh, okay. I'll meet you at the end of this. Okay, I just got poisoned again. Alright. Can we time this right this time? There we go. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Oh my god, I can't handle this. Okay. So we are going back over this way. I'm just, it's just They keep respawning, and they keep interfering with literally everything I want to do. Alright, so we have to revive that. Oh, no we don't. No we don't. No we don't. No we don't. We should be able to just... Yeah, we should just be able to use this. Right? And that will take us back up. Yes, okay. That will take us back up to this area. So now that we have that other flower 
excuse me, now that we have that other flower blowing air upward, we should not fall where we fell because we'll have an updraft that will take us up to that next platform. I think we should be smooth sailing pretty much from here on out. And if memory ser- oh, come on. If memory serves me correctly, we should be just about finished with this place. Just about. Not, not totally, but just about. Yeah, see, we have that updraft that we didn't have before. So now we're going to go up to here. And I think, again, we also have to give you... Alright. What are you going to do for me? I don't know if I need to revive you or not, but I'm going to assume I do. You are definitely a fake. You are definitely a fake, no question. Alright. So we'll fight these guys. That's fine. See, this is a perfectly adequate place to have enemies, because we're not in the middle of doing a puzzle right now. So this is fine. This is just a, a new area where we're inside, we're moving around, we're trying to find our way through, we're trying to get some treasure chests. That's it. By all means, load it up with enemies. Just not where I'm trying to do tedious puzzles. Okay. Okay. And we got the memory gems, that's cool. Um, I think we go outside if we go down further that way. Tortoises are a pain in the ass. But everybody seems to be holding their own pretty well. It's because I'm taking all the damage, I think. Ground Dasher, that's good. Alright, I think I want Zelos back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I want Zelos back. Let's give Perseia a shot here. What do we got? A drop near? That's a bracelet, right? Yeah. Uh, Mithril bracelet? Um, Sheena. Angel bracelet. Colette. Iron bracelet. Iron gauntlet. Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, there's nothing else we can do up here can go out this way, I believe. I don't know if that does anything for me. It does not. Rhythm. God, this sucks. I can't do it. Lloyd, keep trying. Use your head, Lloyd. That's not something Lloyd's good at. It appears there is a set rhythm to the wind the plants generate. Relax, Lloyd. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I guess it noticed that I was sucking at this. Can we not have the enemies constantly regenerating? That's really, really obnoxious. God damn. Alright. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, what do we got up here? More Karima. That's fine. We can, we can load up on Karima. No problem there. So now we're going out this way. I think this sh should let us progress to the end. What do we got here? Yeah! Huh. No good. What are you trying to do? What are you doing, Lloyd? The Sorcerer's Ring doesn't seem to do anything useful at all where there's no wind. Yeah, it just makes you lighter. It's not like you can move on your own. It's kind of hard to use. Oh, I know. Zelos, try using the Sorcerer's Ring for a minute. Ah, thank you for choosing the great Zelos. What can I do for you today? Right, whatever. Just use it for a minute. Like this? Windblade! Ah, oh, what do you think you're doing? Huh? That's strange. It's wind magic, so I thought it'd make him fly. Genus, you did that on purpose, didn't you? Um, no way. Not at all. 
All right. So we're going this way. Perfect. And now we want to use this one to go a little bit more this way. Pass the waterfall again. But this time we go up because we used that flower. And we can go over here and we can go up. And I'm fairly certain they wouldn't put this here if we didn't have to revive it. We're gonna go up here first. Lloyd, are we there yet? How far is it to the storyteller, dude? I'm tired. Hey, how should I know? Zelos, you're pitiful. It looks like we can climb up from here. I'm sure we're close. Let's hang in there, everyone. Indeed. All right, so we're up here now, and we need to get across the bridge. But I think there's, yeah, we, we want to revive you, and we want to revive you, because what we need to do, we have the storytellers right here, and we have, what are you? Battle pick. That's for Persea. Okay. We have a save point. Can't go down that way. So let's... Hmm. I think we'll go in here first. So we're about to do something real interesting, actually. We're about to talk to the storyteller. And the storyteller's gonna tell us a fucking story. Let me let me promise you that. I am the mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef. Al dente is the technique of a true master. I shall teach you the recipe for pescatore. Pescatore requires three ingredients. Pasta, some type of fish, and tomato. Farewell. Thanks, Wonder Chef. All right, guys. Prepare. Actually, I don't think we get all the cool story yet. I think he just tells us where to go to get the mana leaf herb and then proceeds to tell us the story later. Humans. And no, need a better voice for him. Humans and half elves. Oh, you must be the storyteller. Can you give us some mana leaf herb? Please. I see you've brought proof from the Elder. I'd like to say just take what you need, but... Is there a problem? It's in a somewhat difficult place. I don't know if you'll be able to get to go get it. We've made it all the way up this mountain. We'll get it no matter where it is. We'll just send Lloyd. Ha. Hey! Please, tell us where it is. Huh. Alright, follow me. The leaf can be found in the cave ahead. Be careful. Okay, let's go, guys. All right, so we can't do this yet. Because I believe if we try to do this, we're going to fail. Because, hey, where's this cave? I don't see a cave anywhere. Perhaps it is past the waterfall. Past the waterfall? How are we supposed to get over there? But it does make sense. It certainly is in a difficult place. So we have to find a way to stop the waterfall? It would seem that way. I wonder if we can do something other than stopping it. I believe we can. So if we go up here, we can do this. We can go over here, and we can use this flower in conjunction with that flower and that flower to get up here, and boom, and boom, and... We break the rock. Magic Azam. Ha! That must be the cave! It really was beyond the waterfall. It certainly is in a difficult place. We finally found the cave! Okay, let's go! All right, well, we found the cave, so let's fucking do this shit. 
Boom. Nailed it. And we have the mana leaf herb. Aha! So that's the plant. That's pretty distinctive. You're saved, Colette. Yeah. Thanks, Lloyd. What the? There's something here. Motherfucker. Who didn't know there was going to be a boss fight? A giant plant. It's guarding it? Alright, well, we're fighting this right. motherfucker. Fighting this motherfucker. What do we got? We got magic lens. We got 36,000 HP. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Weak to fire, though. So we do have Genus... And we have Zealous, perfectly capable of casting fire magic, as they are currently doing. I don't think it makes sense to use a unison attack on him. Especially because we apparently don't fucking need to. We're clearly kicking its ass. He doesn't move, that's what it is. Like, he doesn't actually move from the spot. So, it's kind of like the defense system in the Toys Valley Mine, and partially kind of like the dragons a little bit, like it's, it's kind of a, it's not a normal battle. Why do you have a dinosaur skull inside your flower? Kicking his ass, get wrecked. Get wrecked. That thing was pretty tough. So this was the real reason it's in a difficult place. Oh, well, we got the plant, so it's all good. Indeed. So we got mana leaf herb. We are now two-thirds of the way done getting the ingredients for uh, Colette's sickness. So we have... Oh, hold on. Fantastic. Whoa, it's been a while since she's done that. Yes, it has been a while since this herb was, has been seen in this world. To trace its history, we must first travel back to the events of the Ulf Uprising. Oh my, it's been a while since we've had a lesson from the professor. How can you be so carefree about this? Regal, quick, stop the prof- God, it's too fast! Don't interfere, Regal. This was- I was about to explain the historical significance of the Ulf Uprising. The Ulf Uprising, that was an important event in modern Tethyal in history. Please continue. Whoa, I don't want to study! Alright. So now we're back here, and we have... We have a little bit of time, so we can we can end the episode with a story from the storyteller. And holy shit, guys, prepare your anuses. Unfortunately, this is not voice acted. I have no idea why, it really should be. So you've made it back safely. You knew about the giant plant guarding the mana leaf herb, didn't you? Yes, but even if I had told you, your actions would not have changed. I felt a very strong will from you. Of course, it's for a very important friend. Lloyd. By the way, have you lived here for long? Yes, I am the one who passes on the lore of the elven village to the next generation. Here I weave various stories into the mana leaf cloth. What kinds of stories? Legends of elves descending from the sky, and the birth of humans, the rise and fall of the Balakruf dynasty, the arrival of angels, the giant Karlan tree, the Karlan war, and the story of the hero Mythos. Hey, 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 I thought the hero Mythos was taboo in Heimdall. This is not Heimdall. I live here to pass on the legends without being bound by the customs of Heimdall. Just who was the hero Mythos? We hear his name everywhere we go. His name came up in the packs with the Summoned Spirits. The legend of Mythos was involved in curing Colette's illness, too. Mythos was born in Heimdall. He was an outsider who was cast out of the village when the Karlan War began. He ended the Karlan War with his three companions so that he could return to the village. An outsider? Does that mean he was a half-elf? Mythos was a half-elf? That's impossible. Yes, Mythos was a half-elf. Only one of his companions was human, and the others were half-elves. 
They were treated as outcasts, but overcame that and put an end to the war. Then why is his name taboo in Heimdall? It's because he's a half-elf. No, that's incorrect. It is because the hero Mythos, loved by Origin, is also a fallen hero. Oh, shit. A fallen hero? What do you mean? The ones who betrayed Origin and used the sword of the magic used the power of the magic sword given by Origin to split the world in two were none other than Mythos and his companions. Mythos Yggdrasil, his older sister Martell, and their companions Ewan and Kratos. The four angels changed the nature of the world, and that is why their names are Taboo and Heimdall. Boom, motherfucker. Yggdrasil of Crucius is the hero Mythos? And his companions were Martell, Ewan, and Kratos? That's impossible! Kratos is the friend of a hero from 4,000 years ago? Even an elf cannot live that long. Angels can use special combat abilities developed during the Karlan War. One ability uses the body's mana to alter its metabolism and stop the body's internal clock. This allows them to stop aging and become capable of living longer than elves. I think it is not good for one to exceed the lifespan of its species. I'm totally confused. None of this makes any sense. Really? There's at least one thing we know for certain. The power of origin is involved in the splitting of the world. And the magic sword, that's the key. Exactly. We must be careful not to lose sight of the true problem. Our final goal is to save the two worlds. Yeah, we couldn't control the giant Carlon tree, but if we can return the worlds to their true form... At the very least, we can reform the system that vies for mana. Yeah, you're right. It's a waste of time to think when you have no good ideas. Shut down. You guys are mean. <laughs> Let's go on to our next destination. Thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much for telling us the story. May the giant Carlon tree protect you. Now we just need a mana fragment. I wonder if there really are any in Daris Carlon. I am also curious about Origin's magic sword. That might be the key to saving the world. But it will be dangerous. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? What's that mean? It means if you don't face danger, you won't receive anything important. Oh, I see. Honestly, Lloyd, you make me sad. But Zealous is right. Let's go to Crucius' main base, Daris Carlon. But how are we gonna get there? According to the scriptures, the Tower of Salvation is the entrance. Then we should go to the Tower of Salvation. There's one on this side too, right? Well, yeah, there is one, but unfortunately we need my Crucius Crystal. The Crucius Crystal acts as a key to the Tower of Salvation. You know a lot about it. Well, I am the Great Chosen One, after all. I see, you were born with a Crucius Crystal too. Yep, my sister has it right now. She's in the Abbey located southeast of the Toys Valley Mine. Okay, let's head there. Alright, guys. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that the hero Mythos and Yggdrasil, the leader of Crucius and the Desions, are the same person. And that his companions were Kratos, Ewan, and the fucking goddess Martell. So, uh, that would kind of explain why Yggdrasil is obsessed with Martell. Just throwing that out there. Um, but I think... Here, <laughs> more than anything else, there might be a skit when we get out of here. Okay, there isn't. So yeah, here, more than anything else, is a perfect spot to end off the episode. Because we just received a giant friggin' plot bomb right in our face. Um, so we will have to deal with the fallout of that next time. Um, so next time we will be going to the Southeast Abbey to grab Zealous' Crucius Crystal, and we will begin to make our way to the Tower of Salvation. There are a couple of side quests I want to do before we do that. So we'll definitely do those in the next episode. We'll definitely, I'm sure we'll do the Southeast Abbey. And then we'll get started on the Tower of Salvation next time out. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to leave a like. Let me know down below what you're expecting of the series. Are you excited? We're getting close to the end. I, I keep saying that. It's still probably another 10 episodes or so away. I don't, it, it's hard to, it's hard to gauge. Because I do want to engage in some of the side quests too, so. Um, that will push out the time a little bit, but, um, also let me know how you're enjoying Night in the Woods. It's totally fine to comment about Night in the Woods on a Tales of Symphonia video. You were not going to offend me about that. Um, 
just please comment. <laughs> Let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching. Um, also, make sure you subscribe for more content, more Tales of Symphonia, more Night in the Woods, um, Persona 5, which will happen when one of those two games ends, um, and also The Letter, and uh, Tales of Exilia, Tales of Exilia 2, and whatever else. So, I will see you in the next episode then. Goodbye.